Alright, well everybody, welcome back to Tales of Exilia. And you may be saying to yourself, where the hell is Phil? Uh, what is this? What's going on in the game? Well, I haven't played this game on stream for two days. And what that means is that for two days I've been grinding in the game. Which first of all means I am significantly higher level. Look, level 44 and 43, all my characters, they're insanely high level, alright? So just for the combat purposes today, we're going to tear through the game. But in addition to that, I was able to actually go to this high-level area, okay? This is right outside of uh, Mila's town. Remember that village where all her, the people worship her? This was the area where I went earlier and these monsters whooped my ass, okay? Well, guess what? I grinded here and uh, I was able to level up significantly and there's a, a, a rare enemy that shows up. Every once in a while, a Slender Man looking enemy. He literally looks like the Slender Man. And if you kill this enemy, you get massive amounts of experience points. So this is where I've been grinding, okay? But, for the purposes of the story, we have to get back to where we're supposed to be. Which is actually, if I'm remembering correctly, La Kutum Sea Haven, alright? This is where we were. Now, I have something to say about this area because unfortunately the story advanced a little bit when I was playing and grinding. Oh, fight already. I'm gonna lose my edge here. Shut the fuck up. Uh, there was a, a little bit of plot progression that I want to explain and it actually happened outside of town right out here. Okay? So while I was out here grinding in the desert, uh, something happened. A while, a, uh, first of all, I guess I'll do this so that we can have lower volume so I can explain. Ivar, who is Mila's hand servant, showed up. And Mila's like, what the hell are you doing here? I told you to stay home and protect the town. How dare you come out here and disobey my wishes? And Ivar basically said, well, I was obeying your wishes, but I got this random letter uh, from a, uh, 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 a carrier pigeon. And it said that I needed to show up immediately to defend you because something bad was going to happen to you. All right? And Mila's like, well, I don't know what you're talking about. We're perfectly fine. And then all of a sudden she turns, and there's a gigantic monstrous boar chasing, uh, or heading straight towards the party. So it initiates this boss fight, and it's actually a pretty difficult boss fight, because the boar just keeps summoning little enemies while you're trying to fight him. And uh, it's pretty annoying, but I did beat him pretty easily. And, uh, and then after the boss fight, Mila turns to uh, Rowan, and she says, Rowan, what the hell... You said that this this is the Lord of Lakutum. It was this rare monster that was out here. But you said that the because of the climbs changing, that this boss wouldn't be out here. So what the hell? You were wrong. And he says, uh-oh, I have a, a feeling that, uh, unfortunately, uh, we might have been wrong about the climbs. Because the four uh, spirits are trapped. Uh, it, it might mean that the climbs aren't changing anymore. And that's why the boss was still out here. All right? So this is a major, I guess this is a major plot point that's going to be revealed later and it's going to affect stuff. So that's why I wanted to talk about it. And, uh, so we beat the Lord of Lakutum and they just, everyone talks about it and they say, well, it looks like we can't go through that swamp that we wanted to go through, uh, earlier. We're going to have to find a different way. So they determine they're going to have to find a different way to get to where they're trying to go. Now, while all this is going on, basically, Mila tells off Ivar, all right, and uh, says, get, get the hell out of here. Go back to town. I told you not to come out here to begin with. So then another carrier pigeon comes. A carrier pigeon comes and gives Ivar another note, and this note says, uh, I know you're defending the key or you're protecting the key for Mila. Uh, the next time that I summon you, uh, be sure to bring the key because it's going to be critical that you have the key you're going to basically have like a critical part to play in the whole story. And this is going to show that you're better than Jude. You you are the true defender of Mila, not Jude. This is your, t your chance to prove yourself. Okay? So it's kind of like whoever's writing these carrier pigeon notes is obviously manipulating Ivar. And obviously it's going to affect the story because Ivar is going to show up at some point with the key. It's going to affect something. But you don't know what. And it's also... It's kind of like a, a, a trick because they're trying to make you think that it's Alvin that's writing these notes because Alvin's the person who's been using carrier pigeons for the whole game, but it's unclear whether or not it's really him or not. 
So that's what happened when I was grinding, and I apologize that I missed this whole segment on camera. I had no freaking clue that out here in the desert there was going to be this whole story portion of the game that was going to happen. It's actually kind of annoying that they decided to do this randomly in the desert. But uh, that's pretty much all you've missed. That little m story portion of the game. Okay? So I hope that that summarizes everything. And yes, Ivar was as, as annoying as usual. In fact, he was extra annoying during this portion. He was a whiny little brat. So, uh... <clears throat> So that's what happened, okay? Alright. So, now, let's go ahead and continue with the game. Uh, we are going to go through the desert here and get to where we're supposed to go, but we have a bunch of these side things to do as well, You're so let's go ahead and do them. You're going to save your captured friends, right? We heard <laughs> from Jude. Friends? Oh, you mean the four. They're not your friends? Well... In a sense, they do help me accomplish the things I need to do. Then they're your friends! Just like us! We'll help you too! Everybody get a hand in! <laughs> to Whoa. think I find myself on the receiving end of encouragement. Everyone shove your hands inside this hole! Yup. <laughs> Everyone sure has gotten stronger. Especially you. You've really improved. I appreciate the increased strength, but I worry I'm bulking up too much. Never took you for one to care. Of course. The Lord of Spirits needs a suitable vessel. Better to be toned than to be out of shape. Totally. Strength uh. is beauty. I think it's a good look. I like Bobby to be flabby. Is the best, Mila. <laughs> well, if everyone thinks so, maybe wow. I'll try to tone up a bit more. Do She's it, trying Mila. to buff up. Yoked out bazongas! <laughs> okay. What? Yoked out bazongas. What I'm the not hell? Sure you'd want that. Yoked out bazongas. Let's just say that again. Yoked out bazongas. What? Uh, sure. Yes. I'm just gonna run across the desert now. Completely ignore what just happened. <laughs> Oops, I went the wrong way. It's this way. Yoked out bazongas. I don't think, when did you ever think you would play a video game and hear the game say yoked out bazongas? I just have to ask you guys. Did you ever think this would happen? Ever? <laughs> My god, what have I gotten myself into? Alright. Let's do another cutscene. Is it safe to leave Giselle behind? Oh, I assure you that I'm not the only one looking out for her. The house staff has served the Cheryl family for years, and the citizens of Sherylton are always supportive. It's all due to Lord Klein's fair leadership. It's not just that. Trissel works really hard to stay strong. She's so cool! No wonder she's Ellie's friend! Indeed. We are all quite proud of our young lady Cheryl. Let's all strive to make her as proud of us. Got it. It's all strike to have you- Ah! Yoked up Bazongas! No! Yoked up Bazongas! Kill this guy! Look, I can kill these guys with like two hits, look! Yoked up Bazongas! Yoked out Bazongas! <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I'm gonna turbo through the game because I'm so high level now. You saw how quickly I killed those guys? And by the way, Jude, I do have to say Jude is pretty crazy with the amount of combos and stuff that he can do. It's pretty incredible how good he is in combat, so he actually is better than Milla, in my opinion. So that's why I'm using him right now.